rep says all progressive congress apc has silenced opposition with performance welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel a house of representatives a House of Rep member, Omar Wami Ogun Lola, said on Sunday that the All Progressive Congress Government in Ekechi State had silenced the opposition parties with its performance in office in the last three years. Who is this one now? I'm so angry. Like, I'm so angry. Today, I've heard a lot of sad news. People die in Sokoto, people die in Yobe, kidnap happening. See anything that is not coming and be solution. See all this party, whatever. Sincerely, I keep saying that the insecurity of the nation is the most important and should be the most prioritized topic. I don't care party or no party. These people do not like us. They do not. If they do, they will be doing everything they can. I know, yes, it is. we are going to discuss other issues, but sincerely, I feel the attention election is getting is even more than the, the issue of our in, the, the attention, the insecurity is getting. I feel they're not prioritizing it enough. I don't even know what this particular woman now wants to say. Eh? I don't know what she wants to say. That they have done this election, this election that's hustling for people. The one we are in, we have not solved the problem. We are in an administration that is draining life, draining resources, draining energy out of us. And we are talking about bringing another administration without even dealing with the issues on hand. We can't go like this now. We cannot. Definitely we cannot go like this. And some people, because of, I keep saying it, being gullible, pocket infrastructure, stomach infrastructure, because of my own, my family, my own, my own, they have sidelined every other. They don't care about what happens. They don't. Sincerely, I, I, I still think that it is because people have not felt it. And I keep saying, in these days, do you need to feel something? Does it need to happen to you? Let's say, for instance, now, somebody say this thing happened to your neighbor you don't have to be in that family before you feel the pain this family is feeling if you are someone that you are feeling you don't like you don't care until it happens to you but the nature is ever ready to give you a dose sincerely why we have other issues on ground that everybody's attention is channeled both your so-called people that you are saying you want to vote for from the APC to PDP, they are not even to, the insecurity of that they have stopped talking about it, meaning they were using it to politically drive traffic. It is very unfair. Let's tell what she has to say. Ogun Lala said the achievements of a doctor of the Dr. Kayode Fayemi administration, coupled with those of a various elected APC or progressive lawmakers, would make the forthcoming 2022 governorship election an easy win for the party. The lawmaker representing Ekiti Western Ijiro Efon Federal Constituency, who spoke about Aramoku Ekiti during the maiden edition of Meet the Constituent, organized to render the account of her stewardship in the National Assembly, said, The Ekiti electorate are ready to vote for, the, for continuity to sustain the pace of development in Ekiti. The opposition parties, including the People's Democratic Party, will have difficulty in persuading Ekiti people to vote out APC or Progressive Congress because the governor has endeared the party to many through populist policies, which have made life meaningful for the masses. The electorate are happier with the purposeful leadership of the APC-led government in the state. Ogun Lola said that she had given her area effective representation and attracted youth and women empowerment skill, women empowerment, skill acquisition programs, educational enhancements and socio-economical development to the free council areas in her constituency. She said, I feel very excited to state that in the last two years and five months, I have been in the House of Representatives on behalf of my great people. We have changed the narrative of representation in Ijero Ekiti West F4 constituency for the better. It is imperative to note that as a legislator, my primary duty and responsibility is to make good laws for the peace, order, and good governance of the nation. But I seized every opportunity at my disposal to bring development to our people. According to her, she has sponsored three bills which have scaled through the first region adding that the bills, when finally passed, would have direct positive impact on Nigerians, including her people. 
Ogunlola added to the glory of God, I have been able to construct a maternity health center in Ejinyo Ekiti, a police post in Ikoro Ekiti, an ultra-modern town hall in Ijeru, a store solar light in various communities in the constituency, and constructed two blocks of 12 classrooms in Okwemesi Ekiti, as well as a block of six classrooms in Iroko Ekiti State. I also facilitated the provision of ICT tools in Ijeru High School, trained 2,000 youth in vocational skills, distributed 60 sewing machines, 40 generators, 10 wheelchairs, 20 grinding machines, 14 vehicles, and 61 motorcycles to the constituents. Okay, you've had it all. While I'm not even in the news, in the mood to, to massage anybody's ego concerning party now because of the number of bad news, how can we be discussing how to win election when people are dying on a daily basis? Like how? Where have our humanity gone to? Where did we throw it? We need to go and look for it. Too. We need to get it. Now, fine. Those who are in Ekiti State, they have witnessed the good work of Ekiti. Fine and good. But I'm still of the opinion that I am told I'm not a political party person. And I believe that Nigerians should remove it from their head. Why? It is plainly personal and individuality how a governor governs his.